Since the release of my first two DVDs, Tickling the Mind 1 and Tickling the Mind 2, we've had a rather large number of complaints regarding the clan. So before we start, I'd like to deal with that right now. <laughs> Hello, my name's Mel Mellers and welcome to this DVD, The Undiscovered Wonder. That's me, <laughs> but more importantly, welcome to my home. Now I've invited a few friends, so why don't you come and join us? Not everything goes to plan. And here we are, waiting to go on stage. This is this is the little dressing room, and there's all the fellow entertainers here, and. Uh, they're just going to have the Mel Mellis treatment in about 10 minutes, but I've been joined by lovely Adele. Hello, Adele. Hello. Looking very nice to see you. Look at you like that outfit. Goodness <laughs> sake. Did you make that yourself? I wish. It doesn't look like something you'd buy, does it? I was going to put you in a trance, but some buggers beat me to it, haven't they? <laughs> lovely to see all of you. Goodness me, you look lovely this evening. You look lovely, that lady there. Look at you. Sacrificing fashion for comfort. You look lovely. <laughs> no, what I want you to do... Would you, would you hold the telephone directory? Because I'm going to ask, do you need glasses? I do, yeah. Oh, let's get your glasses. Have we got any glasses? Have we got his glasses? Oh, you've got them in your pocket. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and tell you that you're getting on my nerves. There we are. <laughs> this lovely lady here in the black... Where do you think I got the rash? <laughs> Have a guess. In the boy. <laughs> no, I meant what country? <laughs> Some noises we don't like. Here's one. Look, I can make my thumb go longer. You go into McDonald's and do that and they serve you ever so quick. No, sir, no, it only works the thumb. No. I can analyse your handwriting. Oh. This tells us something about you. Yes, it tells us you have the ability to get in someone else's mind. And this evening, you've got in the mind of a four-year-old learning to write. You did something very strange. I asked you not to, and I'm not going to repeat it. You wrote... Your year of birth. Did you write that? Yes. yes. I won't repeat it. In fact, I'll whisper it to you in your ear. And would you just say yes if I'm correct? Because I would never repeat someone's age. But if you don't mind, are you sure? Yes. But I would never have said you were that anyway. But for goodness me, that's marvellous. You don't look that age. <laughs> I'm sure you did once, but... Um... <laughs> That's it. Gin and tonic, please, Jeeves. <laughs>